Hey friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. Today we're going to do a little bit of a project update. Lots of things happening here at Creekside Nursery and do a fun little nursery tour because we've got a whole shipment of beautiful plants in. Unique Stone has arrived. There's 10,000 pieces it seems like of Unique Stone, so we're going to show you that as well. But first, here we are up at the new production facility. It might look a little different than the last time we were here. Roger and the guys have been really busy since we have been here last and a lot of things have um, been accomplished. Probably the most notable is that we have a roof on and they are in the process right now of hanging the curtain um, on the side. So we're going to kind of walk through, show you everything. Stay tuned because there's drone footage. So they put, let's just start with that. They put the, the roof on, right? So this is a three bay gutter connected greenhouse from our friends at Atlas Greenhouses. Nice, huge, tall ceilings, right? I mean, this thing is nice and big. With the three gutter connected, they basically have three separate roofs. And the roof on this is that double layer of the poly plastic that you think of as, you know, a greenhouse. So they did each bay per night. So they would do it starting around five o'clock in the afternoon because that's when, if there was any wind, it was gone by that point of the day. The last thing you wanna do is try to put poly plastic on a greenhouse on a windy day. <laughs> We've been there, done that. It's not fun. And especially when you're this high up in, in the air. So Jerry was able to grab last night's last bay getting put on, got the drone up. And so we'll show you that. So stay tuned at the end. We will show you all of that fun because it is fall in North Carolina with all the beautiful colors and all three are up. So that is great. Uh, the end walls, right? You can see that they have that for a lack of a better word, it's like a double layer um hard poly plastic and so that is on what we have on the retail garden center if you're familiar with that it is clear so you can see through it it is a nice cloudy day i don't know if you can hear it it sounds like it's raining really well it's not it's just what i would call spitting um, but because it's cloudy it's hard to see through that but that is on the three bays on the front and the three bays on the back here on the first two, they've already got the shutters up. Those shutters up there at the top, there's fans on the backside. We'll show you that in a minute. When the fans cut on, those shutters open and it sucks or pulls the air back and forth. So that's for air circulation. They also have the circulating fans already installed. You will notice that it seems maybe that they've put them on backwards. They have not. This side, the right side of the greenhouse, the fans are facing to, towards the back. And then when you come to the other side, they are facing towards the front. Why are they opposite of each other? Well, because they're called circulating fans and just similar as a ceiling fan, you want that air to circulate. You're not pushing it in one direction, you're moving it around. This is really important um, in when the heat is turned on because you don't want to have a hot spot. You want to circulate that warm air as it goes through the greenhouse. And speaking of heater, here we have, they've already installed all three heaters and man, they are, these guys have been working um, great. Now that is not an easy thing to do to hang that. So each greenhouse has its own heater and those will pump out the heat warm these this whole bay up and keep this greenhouse nice and toasty but you can see the big fan up there at the top so like i said when this cuts on the shutters up at the front will open up so that way it pulls the air through and it's nice and quite nice you will also notice 
here in the corner, there is a black, uh, kind of a corrugated bendy pipe that is hanging. What they're gonna do is they will reconnect that and that actually inflates the roof. So that is what pumps the air in. No, sorry. They're gonna put that on the wall. Yeah, sorry, 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 yes. So what it is, they just haven't done this corner. We'll show it to you in, in the other ones. Um, this whole corner, both this panel and this panel will have that double plastic. So it will be inflated. That's what that is. So it goes from there and then connects into the wall. So it inflates the wall. So that's what that is. And then over here, there's a lot going on y'all. There's a lot of pieces. See the little motors up here at the tippy top? That's the inflator. So that, that little motor will inflate this one whole roof. And on each bay, there is a motor. So one motor will inflate one whole bay of the greenhouse because you have that double layer of plastic, right? And then you put air in it and it's like a, a pool float or a raft. It gets nice and tight and full of all that good air. And you can regulate like how much air you put in there, but you want it nice and tight. That way that, that layer of air right there is that insulator. So in the summertime, it helps kind of keep the heat out. And in the wintertime, it keeps the air in. Also, when it rains or it snows, you want it inflated. That way it's nice and tight and everything sheds. Right now it's not inflated. It's not a problem. But if we were to get like a massive uh, rainstorm and it's, they didn't pull the plastic tight, you could have areas where it settles down and you have pockets and it pulls the plastic. When it's inflated, all of that precipitation just sheds right off and then goes into the gutters. So we've got heaters in, we've got inflation kits in, we've got circulating fans in, everything is in. Now let's talk about um, the sides. Like I said, they're starting on this side. This is that roll up side um, that will have a nice long pole in it. We will have that connected to our thermostat. We will determine what temperature we want the greenhouse to be. And when the, the greenhouse will regulate. So if it gets really warm in here, the sides will roll up. Once it cools down and it gets too cool, then the sides will go down. So especially in the springtime, it's a constant dance of up, down, up, down, up a little bit, down a little bit, back and forth. But that makes it really efficient and the plants are very, very happy. So that is one piece, that is one massive curtain that goes there. And then we will have that also here on the front. So this will be a roll up side right here. You can see that this is a nice big opening because remember we're going to get the potty machine and bring the potty machine in here. So we have got plenty of clearance to get that potty machine in here and then it too will have a roll up side right here. This is what I was talking about, right? So here they've already gone ahead and put that in. Nice double layer so you can see there's two layers right here and when it blows up it'll be poochy like it'll it'll pop out of course using the good old wiggle wire that makes it nice and easy to put um, when you have to change it because every so many years you have to change your poly plastic uh what else jerry am i missing anything you want to go around and look on the outside let's go look on the outside um it is quite a lovely, lovely sight. Now you will notice so there'll be roll up sides here and then here obviously is a, it's a much smaller door, right? This is where we'll have the barn doors, the sliding doors, the human doors, and we can slide those open and close just like on the other greenhouses. So they will be here. One will be here in the back as well. And then right here, there'll be another sliding uh, doors here as well. This is where you can really see this um, material. So it's a this polycarbonate. polycarbonate. Jerry says polycarbonate, but you really is quite clear and you can see through it quite nicely. So that's where that is. And then over here, working on the fabric curtain. Um, nice, really heavy. It's not cloth, it's still some sort of like plastic woven material there you go um 
but you can see here they've got a there's a pocket right at the bottom so they'll stick um, a nice heavy pipe will go through there that pipe will go through there that's what weighs it down there will be bars on the outside so when wind comes it doesn't whoosh, sling out and then it will all roll up and roll down yeah so it's coming along quite nicely is there anything else that i need to talk about i don't think so so it's really neat though to see it through the eyes of the drone again jerry caught them in time while they were starting to put up this bay last night so we'll show you that and then of course we'll keep you updated but they're getting very close to being done right i would say because today is friday they'll go home for the weekend be back and so i would think probably what next week they finish yeah so it's going to be quite quite a fun thing when they are done and then the fun begins for us because we get to do the electrical and the irrigation it's always a fun job all right now what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the nursery because we've got unique stone to show you and we've got some gorgeous new plants here we are at the nursery and my gosh y'all we have <laughs> I think it was before 9.30 this morning, we had three different deliveries of plants come today because we have amazing vendors who take such good care of us. Um, so we've got trees, we've got shrubs, we've got annuals, all sorts of fun things that we're gonna show you. And then we're gonna head over to Unique Stone and give you a tour of all the fun things that came in here. All right, now, this is kind of like a little bit of perennial land right here. From our sweet friends, look at this gorgeous Ascot rainbow. This came from King's, King's Nursery. Um, we get a lot of their like fall program because they just do such a great job. But the Ascot Rainbow is a euphorbia, a spurge, is one of my absolute favorites. It is a great perennial, but you can absolutely use it in your fall containers. Then, um, or just go ahead and put it in your landscape, right? So it's gonna be in that sun to part, part sun kind of area for us. Just smells really nice so this is a great one to pair with your pansies your violas or go ahead and put it directly in your landscape i have it in both we got some little quart size of the ever everillo grass this too is a perennial and it is a it's a carex so it is going to be an evergreen even in the winter time you're going to have this beautiful foliage we got them in the smaller and i think we even got them in gallons too from a different nursery we got them in quarts here so that way if you want to pair them in a container with pansies and violas this would be a great option for you but it's going to be hardy in zones of five to nine and it is going to be more shade so if you want to put it in the shade it is great it can handle winter sun because winter sun is not as strong as summer sun so we have this in quarts they also have the Feather Falls grass. It too is a perennial Carex grass, nice and evergreen. Love this plant more for your shade part sun garden. Beautiful mounding, trailing Feather Falls, right? So it has that habit on it. It is going to be hardy in zones five to nine as well great great plant these are gallons you can put them in a container by itself you can put it in the ground wonderful plant southern comfort yes i got a different one but this is southern comfort we got zipper over here southern comfort euchre so we have southern comfort here and then we have zipper right here so these two corbels, eucharas, are going to be great for the south. You can see they have those great fall colors, but you're going to have a different leaf kind of shape and texture on them. Both of these are of the Velosa family within the eucharas. That means it can handle the heat and humidity really, really well. That is why here I always try to get Eucharist that have those, that Velosa bloodline in it because they're native to the Southeast and can handle the heat and the humidity really, really well. Um, I have some Southern Comfort in a container at the house that I've had in there for um, over a year and it is beautiful. Eucharist, of course, will be semi evergreen. So even in the winter time, you have color to them so excited about this now listen people i'm telling you you need to get to this nursery and hurry up and get these plants because they're going to be gone and come like february march you're going to be so happy that you came and got them 
Lenten roses. Now, these are not only just regular, quote, Lenten roses, hellebores, right? These are the ice and roses. Now, I have an ice and roses red in the landscape here at the nursery. It is a beautiful, deep, deep ruby color. People go nuts over this and want it so badly. Well, we've got the ice and roses red and we have the ice and roses pink. Look at that, which is a nice soft, kind of a baby doll pink. Zones five to nine. It is going to bloom depending on the, plant, on the season. Sorry about that. February, March, April, right around that time. These are very deer resistant plants because they are tough. They are deer just do not like them but they bloom in the winter time. They are great. It is raining. I do not care because this is the first rain we have gotten in a very long time. Ice and roses, gallons, red and pink. Uh, while we're here, do we want to hit the greenhouse? Yeah, we probably, probably not going to the greenhouse because the camera, even though I love the rain, the camera really does not. Yes, so Cece put these together. Cece and Randy, they were all working together yesterday. What would be some plants for great winter interest? And this is a great example. You've got North Pole Arborvitaes. Um, you've got the Ever Red Laura Petalum. And then of course, you've got the beautiful Gardenia. I think steady this, as steady as she goes. This would be a magnificent landscape right there. Year round color, year round interest fragrance flowers boom i mean there you go now today in that order from kings let's just go through it some of the great fall plants that we got from them i got some quart size the little of uh, the creeping jenny we also have it in the gallon but sometimes i think when you're doing containers a little quart size is really nice beautiful evergreen spiller for your fall containers this is a perennial for us as well so we've got creeping jenny and then we have the creeping fig and i think the fig is very very happy with one another i got three so the creeping fig too is a nice um, evergreen spiller that you can put in your containers and it just is is a great plant you can use both of these in the landscape as ground covers as well. So if you're looking for a ground cover, um, this would be a great option for you. Depending on where you are. <laughs> Y'all, it's a zoo. It is an absolute zoo around here because here comes the delivery of uh, stone and rock for the signature garden. <laughs> but we've got Andrew and Jackson somewhere around here. We might need to pause for a minute and make sure we can get him unloaded. We'll, we'll see here in just a second. All right, so Jerry got the, uh, got the truck driver all situated, so we are good to go. What they were delivering is some beautiful stone that we're gonna put in that kind of that drainage area and then some block. We've got little mini, we got projects. We'll talk about that in another video. All right, uh, pansies, violas, more beautiful ones. Beacon Rose Viola is such a beautiful, popular choice of a plant. I love the um, color. This is a Color Max series, Beacon Rose. Such a great, great plant um, in the fact of the color and very adaptable. It's great for Christmas. Think about, okay, if you're going to plant violas, this is a great time to do it. I'm going to be planting. I was going to do it today, but it's raining. Um, probably do it tomorrow morning. Think about some Christmas colors. Here we have the Penny Red Wing. Really sweet little back color of a viola. Remember violas and pansies, full sun. They need at least six hours of sun to give you this great color. We've got beautiful blues that we were growing. Of course, the classic yellow. Then here is the Penny Rose Blotch. Again, nice, great option. Go ahead and plant this now. Thinking for Christmas, it will be a great transition all the way into Valentine's Day. And look at that cabbage. I don't know if it's cabbage or kale. This is the color up purple. I mean, hello, that is stunning. You can put it in the landscape or containers. Soft yellow. There, this is the yellow splash, which is a very nice, soft, creamy yellow. If you want to go more in that direction, you absolutely can. 
Look at the uh, color up white. <sighs> Y'all, it is not too late to be doing fall containers, fall and winter. You, this is, I don't know if this is, this is one of the color ups, I can't quite tell. Gorgeous colors, look at that. And cabbages and kales, the Swiss chard that we have here also, is their cool weather crops. They thrive in the cooler temperatures. In fact, they get these colors because of those cooler temperatures. So lots of options, right? So we got the bright lights Swiss chard here for you. Mums are still uh, galore. They are here. We also got in uh, a fresh batch of the spider web, spider's web fatsia, great shade perennial shrub. If I'm in a perennial, I guess it would be technically a shrub. Spider's web is really fun because it will have that variegation on it. You're going to have white in there. We had those a couple of weeks ago. They sold like hotcakes, so we brought in some more. This is a three gallon. We get nice and big for your shade part sun garden. Really unique option for your shade gardens as well. And then of course, the mums, right? Mums, just beautiful. All you gotta do at this point is water them. They're holding onto those colors really well. Great, great color. <laughs> Speaking of great, great color, Hello, Ms. America. So Ms. America mustard is another option for you for your landscape, your containers for those fall winter months. Mustard is also another cool weather crop. It will get nice and big by early spring. Holds this color and does just um, a great option. You can also go ahead and eat it. It's, you know, I mean, it's a mustard, so why not go ahead and eat it? Let's come over here and look at the pansies. We've got more pansies that came in. This is the um, one of the waves. This is that cool wave. This particular color is, I can't tell, raspberry. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Just a really sweet, sweet color. We've got some more over here. More like the beacon rose. Pansies, of course, are Pansies are a type of viola. So they're gonna have a bigger flower on them. They're gonna have fewer flowers on the plant than a viola does, but they're going to be bigger. Depends on what you wanna look. If you wanna mix the pansies and the violas together, you absolutely can do that. Um, or if you wanna go more pansy instead of viola or vice versa, it does not matter. But they have the exact same growing conditions. It's just that pansies will have a bigger flower, but fewer per plant. Lots of beautiful options on that. And then come over here, we did have some more of the wave pansies. Look how, look how big though that flower is. Look at that yellow gorgeous i love yellow pansies violas because you can see them really well from a, a distance and so those are beautiful um, make a nice big bold splash of color here are oh my goodness look at them look at these sweet colors who are you you are raspberry swirl <laughs> really really fun beautiful so cool wave trailing like a wave petunia so these are pansies they will trail over still need those same growing conditions of the full sun and um, containers preferably since it's a trailing pansy right you would think of a container hanging basket that kind of thing all right we're going to go out in the in the it's not raining as much right now it's just it's just barely sprinkling right now we'll swing by and look at the at the truck that has the pallets of rock stone that are going to go into the area so i'll let jerry kind of do a little oh we got two of them there we will show you that whole process uh andrew i keep adding i keep adding projects for poor andrew's list <laughs> but he's he doesn't mind. All right, um, unique stone. Now this is not a comprehensive list <laughs> tour of all the unique stone, but welcome to burlap land. Uh, <laughs> we got 29 pallets from unique stone. This is definitely our largest order that we've ever gotten from unique stone. And we have got a little bit of everything here. Clearly we are in the process of 
cleaning up, sorting, moving things around. If you want burlap bags, please come get them. Literally, you can have a truckload of burlap bags, so you better hurry up and get them before we get rid of them. Um, so tons of burlap bags available. Now, we're gonna walk through, and if it has a, like a bright red or orange tape on it, then that means that was a special order, those are gone. But I really tried in this order to do multiples. So for example, the square hummingbird, planter we got them in every color just know that unique stone has discontinued the color sienna red which is kind of that terracotta look so there is no more sienna red but we tried to do a really nice mix of all the colors we've got charleston basket boys we've got lots of different planters whether it is this is called the rope and weave i love that one beautiful very classic simple sweet little fawns so the deer i say this is the only deer we want to have in our garden because they don't eat our plants so the the deer we've got babe the pig so for when you see things um oh look tina this is yours so this is this babe is going to go home with tina and archie so here's babes if it's got the red or the yellow bright orange then that is sold if you see a yellow tag that's the price tag so we've got babes available we've got sweet little toadstools like they're meant like it's a seat like that's what it's supposed to do it fits your tushy quite nicely also but the great thing about unique stone of course it is made here in north carolina it is handmade they don't make it until you order it custom made but has so much character in it like look at this sweet fox i think this is the steeple steeplechase fox um have it in other colors as well but just nice and petite and we tried really we have big huge items and we also have a lot of smaller items because we get so many people that travel to come see us whether it's on a plane or in a car and maybe you can't take you know a massive huge savannah urn home but you can take little pieces so lots of different options oh look at this one so sweet i don't remember her name off the top of my head but she is the medium size girl um, she comes i think in three different sizes and i'm pretty sure this is the medium size clearly we have not finished labeling everything there's so many different pieces that we have it is going to take us a while to get everything labeled because um, of course we're still open and taking care of all of our our sweet folks the charleston basket boys plus the charleston bird bath boys so they come it's the same boy it's just the top is different this is meant to be a planter it has a hole in it if it is a planter from unique stone they all have drain holes so if it's meant to be a planter it has a nice drain hole in it this is a bird bath obviously you don't want your bird bath to leak so there is no hole in this same boy just a different top on that as well love the simplicity this is the bow jardinier um, it comes in multiple sizes you can see this this is the aged stone so we've got that available okay geckos <laughs> we have plenty of geckos for you to choose from pick your gecko the geckos are the sweetest little things ever see this is the perfect thing like if you even if you're on a plane you can wrap this up in your pajamas and your you know your suitcase and put it in there and it can go home with you quite nicely cute little he's holding a watering can he's so stinking cute um but lots of colors some of our sweet people have been doing special orders of lanterns really really unique love the different lanterns um we've got i think maybe three of them this time that were all special orders great options for you see all the toadstools lots of toadstools here um, we'll kind of talk as we go up this was one that i got i'd never seen it before in person but we all loved it this is the bamboo bird bath and now that it's raining you can see how pretty it is it comes on it's a two pieces so it has obviously a very asian feel to it beautiful bowl that sits on top of it with that nice delicate bamboo um, accent to it it is a really really nice one spanish urns i got three spanish urns for you so this is like the dark walnut we have 
I don't know where the other, we have an age stone and then we have maybe an ancient age in the in the Spanish urn. Nice, beautiful, substantial urns here for sure. We've got Herm the Worms. Look, we have a little army here of all of our sweet Herm the Worms. There we go. Look at that. Herm the Worm is really fun. It is a three pieces that go together. He's not a dragon, he's not a serpent. He is a worm um, that you can put in your garden. Very fun, very unique. The tornado urns, we have, I think, three of these. They're nice and heavy. Clearly, they're still, <laughs> we did not upright it. But this is a great one you can put, like you can put a full-size shrub in this if you want to. I got one of these from my mama and put a David Austin rose in it for her. So this is a great option. We have more Savannah urns. These are ones that we had in stock, but we got more of the Savannah urns, the different colors. So no, we have that. Galloway urns. We've got, we ordered three. We've already sold one. So we've got two of the Galloway urns. I've got it in the walnut, whether this is light or dark, I'm not sure off the top of my head. And then the aged stone. Of course, they have the tops that go on them. They're in a different location right now. Beautiful, nice planter. Brings some height to your garden. Try to do a little bit more of some statues and some really nice different accents. Versailles Angel. I love this one. This is um, a really nice piece. The aged stone, dark walnut, light walnut. Um, basically, it's an angel with her hands folded praying. Nice substantial weight to it. Look at the cute little girl. The girl with puppies. So this is a girl and she has puppies in her hands. Another one that would be a great option for you folks who are traveling or wanting something small. Turtles. We got little box turtles. There's more turtles over there. We'll get to it in a little bit. But really cute little box turtle. Great little accent for your garden. Smaller containers. Um, if you wanted to put succulents in here. If you want to put... Um, even like indoors if you wanted to use them indoors. Lots of great options as far as that. The geometric, a nice rough square planter, artichoke planter. Again, I've got lots of options for you here with all the different planters. Bashful Betty's. We have got Bashful Betty's galore. I have a whole little army of Bashful Betty's. We've got three of every color. So we've got the age stone, we've got the amber green here. We've got light walnut, dark walnut, everything. You name it, we've got them. The cute little owls. This is hairy owl. Nice and petite. These make great Christmas gifts, y'all. Whether you have, if you're somewhat local and you want to get a bigger piece and take home to your sweetheart, um, great. We've got kitty cats. Look at the cute little kitty cats that are, this is the stretching cat. We've got three of those. So all my cat lovers out there, Marianne, I think you need one of those. And then the angels. So we have the praying angel with her hands folded. And then you have the giving angel. Nice again, nice and small and petite. Urns, I love these Bella urns. Nice, simplistic clean lines would be great to put a smaller planter in here i mean your options are just endless right i mean you could put like this time of year a pansy a viola anything would go great in there um creeping jenny would be fun spills over bird baths here's the bashful betties uh let's see oh wisdom this is fun so wisdom is a sweet little fella who is reading a book. And Wisdom is a nice, really sweet little addition that you could tuck into your garden. And then of course, we had to do more pigs, right? So, I tell you, the names on these things. Elvis Pigsley. So here we have Elvis Pigsley, and Elvis Pigsley has got some personality. Would be a cute little accompaniment to go with Babe. So he's just sitting, sitting back on his haunches, looking up to the sky accepting this rain and very happy that we're having rain and then we have Millie and Molly. Millie and Molly are two little piglets laying on top of each other um, as a child whose daddy was a pig farmer when I was little 
This is what baby pigs do. They do lay on top of each other like this all the time. So we've got Millie and Molly, sweet little, sweet little things. All right, come on down this way. I'm telling you y'all, we have got some unique stone. You need to come out here and do some Christmas shopping. Of course, we will have all of this organized, ready to go for you, but come on. So we've got more foxes. We've got bunnies. So I did two to three different kinds of bunnies this time. Um, you've got a cute little bunny that's just, you know, sitting there again. I don't know the, all the exact names on these because I don't have them labeled. I know this is shy bunny. I do remember this one. So shy bunny is kind of covering her face. So we've got shy bunny, nice and substantial. That's the great thing about unique stone. And then we've got this guy one that's more upright sitting up hands kind of out ears laid back um very sweet bunny on that shroomies we have got tons of shroomies so don't worry about shroomies the rectangular hummingbird planters we've got those um, sassy frogs we've got sassy frogs galore this was one of the very first uh, little creatures that I got from Unique Stone. Love it. Has that kind of paisley print on the back. Lots of personality in this sweet little frog. Um, yeah, and then alligators. <laughs> we got alligators. Who needs an alligator in your yard? There you go. We have one in our yard for uh, Jackson. It's Jackson's alligator. He does love alligators, so we've got those. And scalloped urns the pineapple the rope remember these are the ones that we have on our back patio so pineapple with rope because it has a rope down there at the bottom so lots and lots of options for you we will get all of this sorted and pulled out and organized but go ahead and come on you can come and look and take all of this in and just enjoy it because we have got beautiful pieces for you I'm seeing two more Galloway urns. I think I got one in every color, so just know if you wanted a light walnut or a different color, I see those as well. Great Christmas presents, y'all. And it's raining really well now and the camera's getting wet and it doesn't like that. So we are going to wrap it up for sure. So come see us Wednesday through Saturday, nine to three, close the whole weekend of Thanksgiving. And then the last day we're open is December the 16th. So if you did a special order, Come pick your stuff up by December the 16th. We've got you all taken care of over here. And if we haven't been in contact with you, we will do that um, ASAP. So as always, thanks so much for going to the Creekside. Y'all have a great day. We're going to enjoy this beautiful rainy day here in North Carolina. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.